Number 1. Rotunda of Galerius. The Rotunda of Galerius is Thessaloniki's most magnificent ancient monument. Built in the early 4th century, it was most likely intended to be Roman Emperor Galerius's mausoleum, although he was not buried here, and was part of the complex that included the Galerius Palace and the Arch of Galerius. Number 2. The White Tower. The most recognizable landmark of Thessaloniki, the White Tower can be reached by taking a scenic walk along a waterfront promenade. Built by the Ottoman Turks around 1530, this imposing tower was used mainly as a prison. In a small public garden at the southern end of the promenade, the White Tower, Lefkos Pyrgos, was once part of the town's Ottoman-era ramparts. Number 3. Church of Agios Dimitrios. The Church of Agios Dimitrios is dedicated to the town's patron saint, Dimitrios, a Roman soldier who was executed at this site in the year 306. At that time, it was a Roman bathhouse, and the murder was ordered by Emperor Galerius, who was ruthless in his persecution of Christians. Number 4. Arch of Galerius. Walking from Ignatius Street, towards Thessaloniki's city center, visitors will come across the Arch of Galerius, Apsida Galeriu, an ancient Roman monument dating to around AD 297. This arch was the ancient town's main entrance gate. Of the original structure, three piers of the west side remain. Two of the surviving piers, Number 5. Archaeology Museum of Thessaloniki. This renowned museum presents a superb collection of artifacts that were uncovered in Thessaloniki, as well as all over ancient Macedonia. The collection spans from prehistory to late antiquity. Be sure to see the sculptures from the archaic to late Roman era. Several rooms display architectural elements from an Ionic temple of the 6th century BC. Number 6. Agnopoli. The Agnopoli is the historic old town, known as the Upper Town because of its hilltop location. The Upper Town can be reached from Odos Olympiados, the curving street that links the lower town on the north to the old town walls and citadel. This atmospheric quarter is characterized by its steep, winding streets and pedestrian alleyways. Numerous fountains of the Ottoman era reveal the quarter's Turkish influence. Number 7. Byzantine Walls. Soon after Thessaloniki was founded in 315 BC, the town was surrounded by defensive walls to withstand attacks by King Pyrrhus of Epirus in 285 and by the Celts in 279. Constantine the Great strengthened the fortifications, and under the Byzantine Empire, the walls were frequently enhanced. Number 8. Church of the Holy Apostles. The UNESCO-listed Church of the Holy Apostles, Agioi Apostoloi, lies at the edge of the old town, close to the Byzantine walls. This 14th-century Byzantine church was designed on a cruciform ground plan, with five domes and elaborately patterned brickwork. Number 9. Church of Saint Sophia. At the east end of Hermes Street, Odos Ermu, the Church of Saint Sophia, Aya Sophia, is one of the town's most important historic churches. The church is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with Thessaloniki's other remarkable Paleo-Christian and Byzantine monuments. The domed church was built in the 8th century on a three-aisled cruciform plan. Number 10. Church of Panagia Halkon. Near the ancient Roman archaeological sites, the Church of Panagia Halkon exemplifies Byzantine architecture with its cruciform shape, four domes, and facade featuring rows of arches and columns. The design was inspired by the monuments of Constantinople, capital of the Byzantine Empire. The sanctuary is adorned with Byzantine-era frescoes, dating from the 11th century and 14th century. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.